Hello, and welcome to WP Forums. Today we're going to go over how to fix one of the most common problems people often run into on their WordPress site, email deliverability. If you've ever had any kind of contact form, but don't receive an email notification when the form is submitted, you may be assuming that the fault lies with your contact form plugin. But more often than not, that simply isn't the case. But by using a tried and true mailer like smtp.com with the WP Mail SMTP plugin can make a night and day difference in making sure your emails are reliably sent from your site to you and your users. With that said, let's get started. We'll first want to head over to smtp.com and log into our account. If you don't have an account already, you can visit smtp.com to sign up for a brand new free trial. Just keep in mind that there will be a few additional steps when signing up for a brand new free trial, such as checking your email for an activation link and waiting for the smtp.com team to approve your account, which may take up to 24 hours. Once you've logged into your account, we'll be ready to start the setup process. One of the first things we need to take care of is to add the SPF record to our site's DNS settings. smtp.com uses an SPF record to help authenticate your emails so we'll want to make sure to add this important record to our site's DNS settings. Let's go to the top menu of our smtp.com account, click on the account tab, and then go to my settings. Under the general settings tab, you should see an SPF record. This is what you'll need to copy and paste into your site's DNS settings. After you've added the SPF record to your site's DNS settings, you'll then be able to check if smtp.com has been able to validate the record. To do this, click on the Deliverability tab in your smtp.com account. Scroll down to the bottom of the page where you'll find a section called smtp.com SPF Record Domain Check. In the Domain field, enter your site's URL and then click on the Validate button. The result will appear in a red box near the top of the page. If smtp.com was able to verify your SPF record successfully, then it will display a pass status in this box. Keep in mind that DNS settings can take up to 48 hours to be recognized, so it's okay if you need to come back and check the status later. No matter what your domain's SPF status is right now though, you can move on to the next step. Now that our smtp.com account is ready, we can head back to our WordPress site and begin our setup there, starting with installing the WP Mail SMTP plugin. On the plugins page, we'll click on the add new button on the top left corner and then on the left, we'll use the search bar to find the WP Mail SMTP plugin. We'll go ahead and type in SMTP and click on the Install Now button for the first result, WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms. After the installation is complete, we'll want to go over to the left, find WP Mail SMTP, and click on the Settings tab. On this page, you'll find different settings options. The From Email field is the email address that all of your site's emails will say they're from. Just keep in mind that in order for smtp.com services to work, the email address in this field must be for your domain. We also strongly recommend that you check the box labeled Force From Email. The reason for this is because this will make sure that any and all emails sent from your site will read as having been sent from this email address so you don't have to worry about editing the From email setting in any other plugin on your site. The From name field will let the user know who sent the email. By default, this field will be set to your site's name, but you can change it to read whatever you'd like. You can skip the return path since smtp.com does not support this particular option. In the next field called Mailer, we'll go ahead and select the smtp.com mailer option. Once you select this, you'll need to fill in the following two fields that appear below, API key and sender name. You can quickly find the API key from your smtp.com account by clicking on the Get API Key link below. When you open that link, it should direct you to the API key page in your smtp.com account. Carefully copy the key, go back to your WordPress site, and paste it into the API key field. For the next field, Sender name, you'll need to click on the Get Sender Name link below. This should open the Senders page of your smtp.com account where you'll need to copy the value under the Name column. Afterwards, you'll repeat the same steps as before. Carefully copy the key, return to your WordPress site, 
and paste it into the sender's name field. Now that the WP Mail SMTP settings are done, go ahead and click on the Save Settings button at the bottom of the page. Once our settings have been saved, we're ready to send a test email. We'll go to the Email Test tab within WP Mail SMTP, and in the Send To field, we'll enter any email address that you have access to. This is the address that the test email will be sent to. Afterwards, click on the Send Email button. Once the email has been processed and sent, you should see a success message on the screen. Now, we'll go to our email inbox to check for the test email we just sent. And as we can see, the email from WP Mail SMTP has been sent and is sitting in our inbox. For our last step, we'll want to confirm that this test email was properly sent through our SMTP.com account. We'll go back to our SMTP.com account, go to the Deliverability Settings page, and make sure that the status reads Pass. If so, then we're all done. You've just set up your SMTP.com account with the WP Mail SMTP plugin to ensure that your site's emails are delivered reliably. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit WPMailSMTP.com, which has lots of step-by-step -step written instructions on how to set up the plugin with your favorite mailer option. And if you need any extra technical help with the WP Mail SMTP plugin, please feel free to reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed and found this video helpful, subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you can learn more about building smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.